If there is a conviction in a trial between now and the election, how do you feel about that? Would that change things for you? Absolutely not. I'll always stand by Trump. He stands for America, and I stand for America as well. How much does it matter to you if there's a conviction between now and November? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't for me. Well, I still support Donald, Donald Trump. Doesn't change anything. Nope. Maybe he fires me up more. I feel like, you know, it's a witch hunt. So um, it doesn't change my vote for Trump at all. That is nothing but a smear campaign against Donald Trump because they're, fear, they're in fear of him. No. I'm just looking out uh, for myself and my family, and I just want, you know, a better life for that. You know, he'll do crooked things all the time. He has a proven track record. I like his policies. I'm sticking with Trump. Trump supporters here in New Hampshire saying a possible federal conviction would not sway them from voting. But polls show a guilty verdict could maybe hurt the former president in the general election. I want to bring in Kaylee McEnany and Lawrence Jones. Great to have you hey guys. both here. Can we just yeah. point out the obvious? That was a mm. Trump rally, right? Yes. A, a lot of those people have been in line for eight hours yes. minimum. Mm -hmm. Didn't make I mean, it you knew where their loyalty lied. But the reason why we bring that up, call for number two, is the Reuters poll from about three weeks ago. If there's a conviction of a felony by a jury, look at column right. Among Republicans, uh, would you still support Donald Trump? And 28% say no. Mm -hmm. And hence the reason for the back and forth. Okay, so let's get to talking about this. You talked to the president this morning. Do you want to listen to a little bit of that? Yeah, let's okay, do let's, that. Uh, call for number one here. This is Lawrence and Donald Trump this morning. What's a day one like of a Trump presidency part two? Okay, you're going to number one, we're going to have the same border and even stronger if possible. We're going to get rid of inflation very quickly. We're going to be drilling like you've never seen before. We're going to get, and we're going to start paying down debt. We have so many great things we're going to be doing. He seems like he's already got it mapped out. Yeah, he's in a good mood, and uh, he wants to unify the country. That's his new message right now, that it is the system that is going against him. You know, back to that last topic that y'all were talking about, of the people uh, voting for him if he's prosecuted. I was talking to this woman uh, in the diner today, and she's a Nikki Haley, uh, former Nikki Haley supporter, you'll say. And she goes, she's right that chaos follows Donald Trump. And she made that same argument today on America's Newsroom. But the thing that she doesn't talk about is that the system is against him. Mm -hmm. And she goes, after reflection, that's why I have to support him. Because if I don't support him because of them going after him and the illegal prosecutions mm -hmm. and the two-tier justice system, then I say it's okay for me. And there's a, a lot of Republicans that feel that way, that may not like the tone and tenor. By the way, me and the president talked about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. And his argument is like, they've been coming after me since before I declared. So that's why I fight the way I mm. fight. Interesting. Harvard Law over here. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Kaylee? Yeah, look, I, I think it, it, there, there's an argument to be made that it's improbable a conviction could happen. Judge Chutkin last week issued a six-page uh, decision which basically said Jack Smith stopped filing motions. While this is appealed, that time does not count against the seven months I'm allowing Donald Trump to prepare this case. So that's likely pushing back that March timeline. But to underscore the point of Lawrence Jones here, a lot of voters look at this and they say, look, the New York Times surveyed election officials, and the New York Times found that in the Alvin Bragg case, no one had ever brought a case on a federal election charge, New York prosecutors, that is to say. Uh, then you go to the civil case in our own brain room, couldn't find a comparable case where there was a crime without a, vi a, a situation like this without a victim that was prosecuted in the civil realm. And then you go to the ballot removal. And, you, you know, in Maine, one unelected secretary of state mm -hmm. gets to remove someone from the ballot. So that's the animating feeling among Republicans. However, Donald Trump has to win independence. And that's why the VP pick is so important, having someone out there who can litigate these cases going on in a way that is credibly received by independents and suburban women. I was thinking about that this morning because there were voters who went from Obama to Trump and then back to Biden. Mm -hmm. How does President Trump plan to get those voters again to switch mm -hmm. and go with him? Well, if you remember, if you look at that Pew poll that was done right after the, I'm sorry, Gallup poll that was done after the election and right before the election, 52% of Americans said they were better off under Donald Trump. They didn't vote for Joe Biden because he was good on policy or because they felt like he was going to make life better. Things were going well for them. They voted that way because of the tone and tenor. 
Um, you have the conveniency to talk about tone and tenor when everything is going well, well for you, though, and you're not going to the grocery store, and inflation yeah. is in you, and crime is not out of control, and the border is not you under... Afford a new car. You know, so you can make those type of arguments. What we're hearing from voters is, is much different, which is why I told people from the very beginning of this Republican primary process that these candidates were wasting their time. Now, they deserve the right to run, but I've been talking with diners all over the country, yeah. urban America, middle America, everything, and they all say the same thing. We want to return to life being better for us. Uh, interesting. <clears throat> There's going to be a fundamental question at some point this week, and we might as well go ahead and just crack it open right now. How many of these issues that you're talking to among diners all across America, how many of these issues, problems, scenarios, crises, can Joe Biden make better in the next 10 months? That's the fundamental question. It's all the border. It's all the economy. You, economists would say to you, the economic outlook is looking better. Interest rates will likely come down. The Fed has indicated that, which makes cars more affordable, which makes housing more affordable. Is there enough time, though, for voters to feel any change in the economy? And Donald Trump, what a powerful message to be able to say. When I was president of the United States, we had wages going up for black Americans, for Latino Americans. The economy was stronger and more robust than ever before until COVID hit. Uh, so he has a strong case to make. And can Joe Biden reverse the feeling? Mm -hmm. It's not enough to say the economy's great, the feeling that voters feel. Yeah. And to that point real quickly, the, the president, as well as the White House, have not conceded on the point of feelings. They're, they're explaining away. Mm -hmm. And I, I think he would have a, actually a great opportunity because when you get him off the cuff, sometimes he can be very personable, but they haven't conceded on that point. And so until they concede on that, I don't you think they can... down there to the rope line. The yeah, line, right? sure. I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him. Thank Post you. it up at Thank the White you. House Thank you. if Peter right. Ducey allows it. Right, you guys stay warm here in New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.